lot of people online tell that bread is bad for you if you try to lose weight. Some people tell that you should not eat fruits if you try to lose weight. Oh my god, if you eat some chocolate or cake. I haven't struggled that by myself. But I have been lucky enough to help people like Seda. Before you swipe away, let her tell what was helping her. My name is Seda. I live in Dubai. I'm 45 years old. Uh, before I started coaching with Turo, honestly, I was struggling a lot with my weight. I've been always like a yo-yo dieter. I was doing extreme diets like keto. I would lose a lot of weight and then I would regain it. If I eat uh, fruit, it's bad for me. If I eat carbs, it's bad for me. If I have a slice of uh, cake, it's bad for me. It was really extreme, you know, there was no middle ground. It also affected quite a lot my social life because, you know, I wouldn't feel good in my body. So I wouldn't go out with my friends or I wouldn't go out on dates. What I really learned throughout this journey, I have food freedom now. I lost eight kgs. The beauty is I can eat whatever I want as long as I balance it. What I feel really worked for me is you gave me the ground rule. So the ground rule number one was my calorie deficit number. So you told me as long as you eat within these calories, it doesn't matter what you eat. That was so liberating for me. It just opened up so many ways of thinking about food. So that was awesome. The second ground rule was protein. So you told me you need to get minimum this many grams of protein. And that really helped me because when I looked at what I was eating, I understood that I wasn't eating enough protein at all. So I was probably like one third of the protein that I should be getting. That changed everything because I stopped having cravings. Um, I was full all the time. And there were days I even told you, I'm not hungry. Should I be eating? And you said, yes, never really been in that situation. So that was like so cool. So even carbs, I, I could integrate into my diet, but never depriving myself from things like rice or fruit, like watermelon. My God, I haven't had watermelon in like 10 years. What I would tell someone considering coaching with Turo is, uh, first of all, you have to manage your expectations that this is going to be a lifestyle. That's number one. Number two is um, in life, there are parts of our life where we need help and if you need help, you know, managing your weight, getting leaner, you know, losing weight, improving your physical and mental health, definitely. I think this is a wonderful investment in yourself um, so you can become the better version of yourself. Uh, he's definitely an accountability partner for me. So if I have any questions or doubts or concerns, he's always there. But also I really value that he looks at you genuinely um, as a friend. Uh, a lot of coaches are out there to make money. It's nice to know as a client that somebody genuinely cares about you, your progress, your struggles, your challenges, and they are there to help you. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And that's how I felt uh, with Turo. You know, even when I went on vacation, he just let me eat whatever I wanted. And even if I didn't work out, like he never got mad with me, you know, he understood that I was home. I was having a nice time with my family and, you know, he just gave me that mental break and that's so liberating. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you so much uh, for all you've done for me.